Today, I'm going to share some tips on how you can stay motivated at work so you can stop feeling down on yourself, get focused, and start being productive again. Hi, and welcome back to another segment of Triple T where I reveal my top tips and tricks to help you excel at work and reach your highest potential. I'm Allie, and today I'm going to share with you my top tips for staying motivated at work. As you're watching this video, I want you to think about which strategies will work best for you. Maybe you have some strategies that have personally worked for you. If so, then make sure to leave a comment down below. Otherwise, sit back, relax, and grab a drink, and we'll get started. Have you ever hit a dead end before at work? You know, those moments at work where no matter what you do or how much effort you put into something, you're not making any progress? It's absolutely frustrating. You put in all this effort into something to get nothing in return. You feel like a total failure. Now your energy is zapped, you're uninspired, and you have no desire to continue doing your work. What do you do? It's not like you don't want to be motivated. You're just sick and tired of being disappointed by your lack of progress. So how can you stay motivated during times like these when you want to walk away the most? What strategies can you use to overcome your disappointment for making zero progress? Look, it's never easy when you don't see results from your hard work. I get it. I've been there. And it's because I've had my fair share of these motivational slumps that I've been able to try out some different tactics to get past these moments. And so for today's video, I'm going to share with you some of those tactics that have worked for me personally. These tactics are easy to do and are surefire ways to get you that boost you need to feel motivated again. So if you're ready to overcome these feelings of frustration, get focused and start being productive again, then here's my top tips for staying motivated at work. Tip number one, revise your goals. It's important to set goals because it gives us direction. It paints a clear picture of what we want to achieve and the actions we need to take to achieve it. So one of the reasons why you're unmotivated and struggling to reach some of your goals is because your goals are either unclear, difficult to achieve, or don't match who you are or what you want now. So write down the goals you've been working towards and ask yourself the following questions. One, do you still want to achieve this goal or is this something else you want? Even if it's a little tweak in what you want, it makes all the difference in your attitude towards failure and the actions you take to reach this goal. Two, can you realistically achieve this goal? Do you have the knowledge and skills to competently reach this goal? Or are you overshooting your capabilities? Sometimes we let our dream get the best of us and set goals that take several years to reach. So if you wanna get motivated again, then you need to set goals that are possible to achieve so you can score some more wins in your book. And third, are your actions aligned with your goals? It's easy for us to take the same steps that others have before us. It's a clear path and one that we know has worked for others. But the problem is that the action some people take to reach a goal might not work for you. So you need to take into account your own strengths and resources when determining what actions you can take to reach your goals. So to summarize, if you're feeling unmotivated from a lack of success, then you need to take a look at your goals and see if it needs to be revised. This will help you gain perspective on your current motives and give you a different approach to achieving your goals, both of which have been found to improve your motivation. Tip number two, revisit your progress regularly. Over time, it's easy to lose sight of your goals and any progress you've made, especially when you're met with constant failures. So get into the habit of giving yourself constructive feedback by revisiting your goal progress on a weekly basis. Make an effort to celebrate every win, even the small ones. If you don't make any progress, then take responsibility for your actions and make up for it for the following week. But whatever you do, don't punish yourself. That's one of the reasons why you're unmotivated to begin with. Focus on being constructive. The strategy is not only a great way to keep your priorities fresh in your mind, but also gives you nice little opportunities to celebrate how far you've come. Both of these things are needed to give you that motivation to work. Tip number three, focus on what's in your control. When things go horribly wrong for us, it's easy to start blaming the situation and circumstances around us. The problem is that when you start framing these disappointing moments as uncontrollable, it makes it difficult to see how you can escape the situation. But remember, 
even in the worst situations possible, there's always something you can do about it. It might not be a lot or in the way you want to do it, but you always have the power to take action to address the situation head on. So to stay motivated in these situations, you need to think about what you can do in these situations. What actions can you take? And then start doing those actions. It gives you a sense of control of your situation, keeps you focused, and gets you to take small steps at a time. Tip number four, frame as an opportunity. It sucks to say this, but the awful situations you're experiencing right now are going to happen again. So rather than wasting your time thinking about how horrible your situation is or how unfair it is that you have to deal with these circumstances, you need to reframe these experiences as opportunities. Now, <laughs> hear me out. One of the reasons why you're constantly unmotivated is because you keep thinking about how terrible your situation has been. But I want you to think about an experience you had five or 10 years ago that was awful. At the time, you hated it. You were miserable and upset that this was happening to you. But looking back on it now, you can see how it made you grow as a person, right? You can see how it taught you what type of person to avoid or what things to look out for if you want to avoid getting involved in a certain situation. This was your opportunity to grow and learn from your situation. So if you want to get motivated again, you need to imagine what your future self would think about the situation. What opportunities would they get from it? This can be opportunities to develop your skills and abilities, or this can be an opportunity to expand your network. Anything is fair game as long as it helps you grow in some way, shape, or form. So if you're unmotivated and tend to dwell on the negative aspects of your situation, then you need to reframe your situation as an opportunity. This will help you think more positively and give you the boost of energy you need to work through your situation. Tip number five, raise your confidence. When you're continually faced with failure after failure, it's natural to start believing that you're incompetent. But the problem is that motivation is closely tied to our belief and our ability to succeed, our self-efficacy. So if you want to get motivated again, then you need to raise your confidence about yourself. And the best way to do that is by accomplishing something. So in addition to celebrating your small wins at discuss in tip one, you need to set simple or moderately challenging goals that you know you can achieve. This is a great way to boost your confidence quickly and give you that spark of motivation you need to keep working towards your goals. Tip number six, set shorter deadlines. When you become unmotivated, you start to procrastinate and search for excuses to avoid doing your work. The problem is that you're just waiting around for that moment when motivation will hit you again. But in reality, motivation doesn't work like that. Sometimes you need to put an effort in first to get motivated. And how do you do that? By setting shorter deadlines. Rather than setting one large deadline for when a project or a task needs to be completed, set shorter deadlines for smaller tasks. This forces you to make gradual progress towards your work and helps boost your confidence about your ability to get tasks done. Both of which are things you need to stay motivated at work. And there you have it, my top tips on how to stay motivated at work. Use these strategies I provided and you're going to move past this frustrating period you've been going through and start being productive again. Now, if you're finding it difficult to stay motivated because of your lack of confidence, then I strongly suggest you watch this video next where I go into detail about different strategies you can take to boost your confidence. And before you go, if you enjoyed this video, then make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. It helps me get my videos out there and lets you know when I release new content. Otherwise, it's been fun having you today. Until we drink again, take it easy. Bye. I have this amazing lemon cake. I mean, do you see that? So I actually haven't had this before, but I'm going to assume it's amazing just because it looks like it's good. Mm. If you like lemon, this is the dessert for you.